In a quaint little town surrounded by lush green landscapes, stood an elegant mansion that exuded an air of grandeur and mystery. This stately residence, with its well-manicured gardens and imposing architecture, was known as the Campbell Mansion. Once a vibrant symbol of the Campbell family's prosperity, it now seemed to hold a veil of melancholy within its walls. At the heart of this tale was Lizzie Campbell, a graceful woman in her late sixties, with silver hair and warm, inviting eyes. Her husband, Andrew, had been a renowned businessman whose success had adorned their lives with affluence and comfort. When he passed away tragically in a car accident, he left behind a vast fortune and the Campbell Mansion, which he bequeathed entirely to his beloved wife, Lizzie. Lizzie and Andrew's marriage had been one of love and devotion, and they had raised three sons together, Emmett, the eldest and responsible, Tom, the middle child, known for his kindness, and Harry, the youngest, a sensitive soul. In the days that followed Andrew's departure, Lizzie found solace in her son's company. They were a tightly knit family, spending cherished moments together, enveloped in the warmth of their home. However, as time passed, life's demands pulled the three brothers away from the mansion and the once tight-knit family began to drift apart. The mansion that was once filled with laughter and the hustle-bustle of a bustling family now echoed with haunting silence. The rooms that were once illuminated with joy now bore the weight of loneliness that seemed to seep into every corner. Lizzie, feeling the void left by her son's absence, struggled to find comfort in the opulent surroundings that no longer held the warmth of a loving family. Despite the presence of Marilyn, her caring and devoted caretaker, Lizzie yearned for the familiar laughter and camaraderie that had once defined her life. One afternoon, as the sun dipped behind the horizon, casting a golden hue over the mansion, Lizzie's melancholic thoughts were interrupted by a sharp pang of pain. She had been neglecting her health, and the consequences were now catching up with her. A trip to the doctor revealed the devastating news, Lizzie was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and her time in this world was limited to less than a month. Overwhelmed with sadness and a sense of urgency, Lizzie decided she must see her sons one last time. With a trembling hand, she penned heartfelt invitations to Matt, Tom, and Harry, inviting them to a final family dinner at the mansion. As she handed the letters to Marilyn, the caretaker, hope and anxiety mingled in her eyes. The days that followed seemed to stretch endlessly as Lizzie waited in anticipation, her heart clinging to the possibility of rekindling the family bond that had once been so strong. However, as the appointed day drew nearer, her hope began to wane as Marilyn returned with disappointing news. One by one, her sons declined the invitation, each offering seemingly valid reasons for their absence. Matt, preoccupied with his demanding job and growing family, regretfully claimed he couldn't find time to visit. Tom, juggling his responsibilities, expressed his remorse but declined as well. Even Harry, though torn, found reasons to avoid the reunion. Lizzie's heart ached as she overheard the conversations between Marilyn and her sons, their words echoing through the mansion's once vibrant halls. She tried to put on a brave face, suppressing her sorrow, and even praised Matt's sense of responsibility while deep inside, she felt a heartbreak she could not bear to express. As the days passed, Lizzie's condition deteriorated, and she found herself growing weaker and more frail. Each passing moment felt like a bittersweet reminder of the fleeting time she had left with her sons. She clung to the hope that maybe, just maybe, they would have a change of heart and visit her before it was too late. Marilyn, the devoted caretaker, could not bear to see Lizzie suffer in silence. With a heavy heart, she decided to seek help from Mrs. Oliver, Lizzie's lifelong friend and neighbor. Mrs. Oliver, a spirited and compassionate woman, was shocked to learn about the behavior of Lizzie's sons. Determined to make a difference, she immediately decided to intervene. She went straight to her son, Nathan, a gentle and empathetic young man in his early thirties, who had faced his own challenges due to a leg injury that left him in a wheelchair. Despite his own struggles, 
Nathan was always quick to lend a helping hand. He worked as a cashier in a local grocery store and lived with his mother in a modest cottage nearby. Mrs. Oliver shared the heartbreaking news with Nathan, and without hesitation, he expressed his desire to offer his support to Lizzie. He understood the value of family and the importance of being there for someone in their darkest hour. Together, they walked over to the Campbell Mansion, where they were welcomed by Marilyn. As Nathan wheeled himself into the grand foyer of the mansion, his eyes widened with awe and respect for the majestic surroundings. He was greeted by Lizzie, who looked both surprised and genuinely touched to see him. Mrs. Oliver and Nathan spent hours with Lizzie that day, reminiscing about old times, sharing stories, and laughing like they were part of the same family. From that moment on, Nathan became a constant presence in Lizzie's life, providing her the companionship she craved so deeply. He accompanied her to medical appointments, prepared meals with Mrs. Oliver's help, and organized a surprise birthday celebration that filled the mansion with warmth and joy once more. With each passing day, Lizzie's bond with Nathan and Mrs. Oliver grew stronger. They became her pillars of support, enveloping her in a cocoon of love and care that she had missed dearly. For Lizzie, Nathan's wheelchair was never a hindrance. It was a testament to his resilience and compassion. As Lizzie's condition worsened, she faced the difficult task of rewriting her will. She knew her son's actions had hurt her deeply, and in her heart, she understood that her true family was now Mrs. Oliver and Nathan. With a mix of emotions, she made the decision to leave her cherished mansion to Nathan, along with other valuable possessions. The will reading took place in the grand dining hall, with her sons present alongside Mrs. Oliver, Marilyn, and Nathan. As the contents of the will were revealed, shock and disbelief clouded the faces of Matt, Tom, and Harry. The mansion that had always been a symbol of their family's prosperity was now handed over to someone who wasn't even blood-related. The brothers, feeling entitled to their mother's inheritance, decided to challenge the will in court. The ensuing legal battle was filled with tense courtroom scenes, as the lawyer representing Lizzie's sons questioned the validity of the will. Nathan, supported by his mother and Marilyn, fought for his right to the inheritance, putting his own past and struggles on display. As the courtroom drama unfolded, the emotions ran high, and the tension between Lizzie's sons and Nathan reached its peak. The public trial became a battleground, not just for inheritance, but also for the deeper questions of family bonds, love, and responsibility. Nathan's character and unwavering dedication to Lizzie won the sympathy of the judge and the jury. His sincerity and genuine affection towards Lizzie were evident in every word he spoke, while Lizzie's sons struggled to justify their absence and their neglect of their own mother. In a poignant moment during the trial, Nathan rolled forward in his wheelchair to stand before the court, with tears in his eyes, and expressed his admiration and love for Lizzie. He spoke about the deep connection they had forged and the void he had felt in her life. His heartfelt testimony left a profound impact on those present in the courtroom, and it became clear that Lizzie's decision was made not out of spite, but out of genuine affection for the young man who had become her family. Despite their efforts, Lizzie's sons eventually lost the case. The court upheld the validity of the will, leaving the mansion rightfully in Nathan's hands. Matt, Tom, and Harry were disappointed and bitter, but the verdict stood firm. With the legal battle behind them, Nathan, Mrs. Oliver, and Marilyn decided to honor Lizzie's memory in the most beautiful way. Together, they founded a charity dedicated to helping lonely and mistreated senior citizens, providing them the love and care they deserve in their twilight years. The charity's efforts extended beyond financial support, offering companionship and a sense of belonging that many elders yearned for but often lacked. As the years passed, the charity flourished, and the Campbell Mansion became a haven for elderly individuals seeking solace and warmth. Nathan, now the proud owner of the mansion, opened its doors to those in need, transforming it into a home filled with laughter, joy, and a love that had once echoed through its walls. 
Lizzie's legacy lived on. Not just in the grandeur of her mansion, but in the lives she touched and the hearts she healed. Her sons, reflecting on their actions and the lessons learned, eventually reconciled with their guilt and regrets. Each of them embarked on their own journey of redemption, reaching out to those they had neglected in the past and striving to be better sons, husbands, and fathers. In the end, the story served as a profound reminder to cherish the love of family and the importance of being present for those who need us the most. It highlighted the significance of showing empathy and compassion to the elderly, as they too long for the warmth of human connection. The tale of the forgotten mansion and the woman who left it to a young man she saw as her true family resonated far beyond the town's borders. It inspired many to look within and reevaluate their own relationships, encouraging them to cherish their loved ones and prioritize the bonds that truly matter. And so, the legacy of Lizzie Campbell and the Forgotten Mansion lived on, teaching a timeless lesson about love, family, and the profound impact of even the smallest acts of kindness. The mansion's doors remained open, welcoming those in need, while its walls held the echoes of a love that transcended blood ties, reminding all who entered of the power of connection and the beauty of forging bonds that would withstand the test of time. As the years rolled by, the Campbell Mansion and its newfound purpose thrived, becoming a symbol of hope and compassion in the town. The charity founded by Nathan, Mrs. Oliver, and Marilyn had a profound impact on the lives of countless elderly individuals, providing them not just with material support but also with the love and care they so desperately needed. The once-forgotten mansion had transformed into a place of warmth and comfort, a true home for those who had felt abandoned and alone. Lizzie's memory lived on in every corner of the mansion. Her portrait graced the grand hallway, a constant reminder of the woman whose selfless act of kindness had set a chain of love in motion. Her presence was felt in the laughter that filled the rooms during comedal gatherings, and in the friendships that blossomed among the residents who now called the mansion their own. Her sons, touched by the legacy she had left behind, eventually reconciled with Nathan, Mrs. Oliver, and Marilyn. They recognized the significance of their mother's decision and the impact it had on the lives of those less fortunate. Through this journey of redemption, they discovered the true meaning of family, not just by blood, but by the bonds of love, understanding, and support. The mansion became a symbol of hope and compassion, reminding everyone who crossed its threshold of the importance of cherishing their loved ones and reaching out to those in need. The town itself embraced the charity's mission, rallying together to support the cause and ensuring that no elderly soul would be forgotten or neglected. As the years passed, the tale of the forgotten mansion spread far beyond the town's borders, inspiring others to re-evaluate their own lives and relationships. The story's message touched hearts around the world, sparking a ripple effect of kindness and compassion that extended far beyond what anyone could have imagined. And so, the forgotten mansion, once shrouded in melancholy, now stood as a beacon of love, a testament to the enduring power of genuine connections that transcend time and circumstance. It was a reminder that even in the face of sorrow and heartache, an act of love could leave a lasting impact, echoing through generations to come. The legacy of Lizzie Campbell and the Forgotten Mansion served as a poignant reflection on the impermanence of life and the choices we make in how we treat others. It urged people to look beyond their differences and prejudices, to embrace the diversity of human experience, and to find the beauty in connections that might not be bound by blood but are no less profound. It encouraged everyone to pause and reflect on the people they held dear, reminding them to cherish each moment spent with loved ones, for time is fleeting, and the opportunity to express love and kindness should never be taken for granted. As for the forgotten mansion, its doors remained open, welcoming those in need, and its walls held the echoes of a love that transcended blood ties, reminding all who entered that the true measure of a life well lived lies not in material wealth, but in the legacy of love and compassion we leave behind.